Hi learners, welcome to my YouTube channel. So today we are going to start with a new topic that is the quadrilateral and circles. So see, we'll see the part one of it. So first thing you should know what is a quadrilateral. So this is a quadrilateral because this is a closed plane figure which is bounded by these are the line segments. So we have here four line segments. So this is called a quadrilateral. And it is also this quadrilateral, we can call it as a polygon with four sides. So we will start with the exercise and wherever needed, I will give the explanation. Extra, extra, I can say. So the average of the three angles of a quadrilateral, which are in the ratio, that is 2 is to 5 is to 4, is 77 degree. And you have to find the angles of the quadrilateral. So this is the ratio given. So always what we have, we have, whenever the ratio is given, we have to say that we have to put a variable along with it. So we can say let the angles be this two for we can put here 2x for this five, we can put 5x and for this one as 4x. So now this is given here is the average. Many problems they were even asked the sum of, they say the sum of the angles are the ratio is given, but here is the average. So average means how many here? The, these three ratios are given here. So 2x plus 5x plus 4x, that is we have, because the average is given, we have to divide it by 3 and each 77 means is equal to 77. So now this comes to 11x divided by 3 is 77. So now this is division. If this goes on the other side, that will get multiplied. So 11x is 3 into 77. So x is going to be 3 into 77. This is actually multiplication. So it is going to get divided by 11. So 11 ones are 11 sevens are. So here x is 21. So we need the, they have asked the angles of it. So we have considered the angle as 2x, 5x and 4x. So here x is 21. So 2x will be 2 into 21, which is 42. 5 into 21, which is 105. And 4 into 21, which is 84. So we can say the angles are 42. 105 and 84 degree. Now, which of the following can be angles of a quadrilateral? So, you know, to, for in a quadrilateral, the sum of angles means all this four, it should be 360. So, this is very simple one. You can add this one. So, this is not 360. So, this cannot be the angles of a quadrilateral. These two are, when you add all this one, we get this 360 and this 360. You can check later. So these are the, this is the correct option. Find the values of x and y in each of the following figures. So this is the figure given. So now what we can see, we have to find out this angle and this angle. So this is given 40. And these are the, this is outside this one. So these are the exterior angles. So here when you combine this all three, so the sum of this one we can call as a straight line or we can also call as a linear pair. So it should be, 180 degrees. So here 50 plus y plus 70 is 180 because it is a straight line. So this is going to be 120 plus y is 180. So y will be 180 minus 120 which is going to be 60 degree. So we got this one as y is 60 degree. Now what we will go? We will go in this one. So what we can see here 40. We don't know this x but we know this is now we got this as 60 and we don't know this one. So now what we can say that this whole, this should be, because it's a quadrilateral, that should be 360. So what we'll do, 40 plus x plus this, we got this as 60. And whenever the, this is the exterior angle, so the sum of this one, 60, this is exterior angle. So this should be this and this angle should be one uh, this one will should be 180 so what we'll do 180 minus this 70 so this should be 110 so this angle should be 110 so what will you write here 40 we don't know what is x but we know this is y is 60 degree and this is 110 so because here sum of interior angles of a quadrilateral is 360 so this will this is the main step what we have to write. So 40 plus x plus 110 plus 60 is 360 degrees. So here will be 
210 plus x is 360 degree. So x is going to be 360 minus this 210. So x will be 150 degree. So here we got now x is 150 and y we got as 60 degree. Now this is the next figure given. So now what we can see this we want this x and y value. So now this means this is 90 degree. So this also should be 90 degree because they are, this is a straight line. So now this is x and this is 110. So this together should be 180. So we'll start with this one because we know this is 110. So now x plus 110 is 180 because it's a straight line. So x will be 180. This will go on the other side. That will be 110. So x is going to be 70. So this is going to be 70 degree. So now we know this is 70. This is 90. So this should be 90. This y and 60. This is a quadrilateral. So it should be 360. So that is this is the step. 90 plus y plus 60 plus 70 is 360. Y that is the you have to write the reason. Sum of interior angles in the quadrilateral is 360. So when you add this one, that will be 220 plus y is 360. So y is going to be 360 minus 220. So y will be 140. So now we got the values of x and y. So that will be, we have to write separately. x is 70 and y is 140. Find the value of a in the following figures. Now see, this is the first figure given. So we have to find, here is a, this is 2a. And this both is 90 degree. So what we can say a plus 90 plus 2a plus 90 that is now this is a quadrilateral so it should be 360 so this will be 3a this way means this should be 1 and this will be 180 is 360 degree so a is going to be 360 minus 180 so 3a is 180 so a is going to be 180 this is multiplication so it will get divided by 3 so which will be 60 so a is 60 degree now in the next figure now again this is a quadrilateral so we are going to add all this one after writing this step so that should be 360 so 3 plus 4 and this one 5 5a and you will add this one separately that will be 110 that is 1 360 so here 5a will be 360 minus 110 so 5a will be 250 so a will be here 250 by 5 so a is going to be 50 degree now for this one, this is 90, this one, all together that is going to be 360. So this is given here. So now will be 5 plus this 3 plus 2, that is going to be 10a. And this one will be 120. That will be 360. So 10a is going to be 360 minus 120. So 10a is 240. So a is going to be 240. This is going to get divided by 10. So that will be A will be 24 degrees. Now here you have to find X and the sum of A, B, C, A plus B plus C plus D in the following figures. So first what we are going to do here, we will see this quadrilateral. So here what we can see here, 105, 75, 60 and X. So we'll start with this one. So we'll get here X that is 360 because it's a quadrilateral. So now this is going to be 240 plus x is 360. So x will be 360 minus 240. So x is going to be 120. So we got this at x as 120. So now we want the a plus b plus. So we want this a, b, c and d. So now what we can see here that 60, see here this is a straight line or we can call it as a linear pair. 60 plus a that is going to be 180 whenever there is a straight line. So a is going to be 180 minus 60. So a is 120. Same thing what we can do is we can go for B1. X. We got this as 120. So 120 plus B. Or here I have taken for C. We can also go for B first. B I have taken here. So 120 plus B is 180. So B will be 180 minus 120. So B is 60 degree. Then anything whatever this one. You can go in a proper sequence A, B, C, D. Or you can go as you like. Because in the final we are going to add it. So this C plus 105 is 180. So 105 plus C is 180. So C is going to be 180 minus 105. So C is 75. Again for D, you can take here D plus 75 is 180. Because again, this is a straight line. See, these all are the straight line. So you get this D as 105. So now what do we want? We want A plus B plus C plus D. So we know now A, B, C, D. 
values so you have to just plug in here so a is 120 b is 60 75 and 105 so that is going to be 360 degree. now we'll go for this figure same here we have to find out a plus b plus c plus d so we'll go step by step so what we'll go we'll go for this we'll see this order first because we know three things here so this way when we add this all that is should be 360 275 plus x that is 360 so x will be 360 minus 275 so x will be 85 degree so now what we can see we can go for a this one again this is a straight line so a plus 70 that is going to be 180 so a is going to be 180 minus 70 so a is going to be 110 again here we can go x plus d because we know the value of x here so this is 85 so here will be 85 plus d is 180 so d is going to be 180 minus 85 so d is 95 so now again here we can go anyways 95 plus b that is 180 so we get that by that we get the value of b again here 110 this also is a straight line so you can see this all other straight line so you get the value of cs 70 so uh, now we have to add it we know the values of a b c d so just add it 110 plus 85 plus 70 plus 95 which is going to be 360 now here oc and od are the bisectors of angle b c d so you have to see the middle one so b c d means you will see this part so this is this whole angle this is 60 degree and oc and bd these are the bisectors oc and bd means now this is 60 if this this whole part is 60 that means it is since it is the bisector means this is 30 and this is 30 and od also is the bisector means this is 70 degree is given angle adc adc means this whole angle is 70 degree that means since it, this is the bisector means this also should be 35 and this also should be 35 this is the main thing what you have to remember first and then you have to find the angle doc and angle abc so now le let us go now we know adc so adc plus what we can go we can go for bcd this one bcd plus we will go for dab this part we know that is 100 and we can go for this abc this one so that's together because it's a quadrilateral so that should be 360 so we know adc that is 70 we know bcd this part bcd that is 60 we know dab this is 100 but we don't know abc we don't know this angle so this is 360 so when you add this one that should be 230 plus angle abc that is 360 so abc will be 360 minus 230 so abc is 130 degrees so that is we got this one abc is 130 degree now we want doc doc means now this part so what we can see here doc now you can see this is a triangle so as i told you earlier because this is a these are the bisectors so now this is 70 means this should be 35 here will be 30 so now see here this we are going to th think about this triangle so you know angle some property sum of angles of a triangle should be 180 degree so 35 plus 30 and we can consider this either you say angle doc or you say angle o both is the same so that should be 180 so what i have done angle d uh, instead of writing the whole thing i just wrote angle d plus angle c plus angle o or angle o plus angle c that is 180 so we know angle d is 35 angle o we don't know angle c because that is a bisector that is 30 degree and this is 180 so it should be 180 so this will be 65 plus angle o is 180 so angle o is 180 minus 65 so angle o is 115 and angle o is nothing but angle doc and that is because we have asked for doc let us go that way so we can say that is angle doc is 150. so by this one we are completed today's work do like and subscribe to my channel so you get a notification of other parts also don't try to forget to press the this is the this is the new feature given that is the hype button so you can see when you go in the comment section there are two dots over here just slide that thing here 
the comment section so you will get a written your height so just press on the hype button thank you